got construction progress on the brand new entrance for Luna Park, right on Stillwell Avenue. Really cool stuff. We got a little bit of foundation work going on. It's pretty cool. Got new stuff by the big project, which is the uh, roller coaster and the log flume. The log flume is complete. So excited. So cool. Get a better look at the whole park. This will be the brand new entrance. They're working on Blair. I mean, uh, Sword and Eagle up there, but we got really cool stuff. So new entrance, new ticket stations, seats and shade. Pretty cool. Not much has happened. I think this stuff will be up by you know the coming weeks. Um, definitely by July fourth. Let's take a look at the big project, which is it down there. So this right here will be the ropes course with zip line. Forgive the wind, it's very windy out here today, but just starting the foundation work on the zip line. This is pretty simple, it just goes up. It'll probably be up in the next two weeks or three weeks or so. This is right next to the Thunderbolt roller coaster. And we're gonna get a ropes course, zip line, really cool stuff. Just pouring in some, like, get some concrete, some foundation stuff, testing it out, see what's going on, levels. We've got a lot of construction going on besides this. This is Thunderbolt. Uh, that's Stangle Dive. Something in the back, and then it's a building. Yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff coming up. Excellent. Look. So, this is a really cool point of view. I don't know if you can see that. That's the drop, the main drop for the log flume, the big drop. Wow, this stuff is crazy. They really did a lot since the last time I was here, like a month or two ago. It was some construction right there, some concrete work. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. That drop looks good. Pretty good job. Drop. The lights are on, by the way. <laughs> the lights are turned on. Let's see this from a hole. This is the entrance of the project. Next is the Thunderbolt. The lights are turned on. I don't know if you can see that. The lights are on as we speak. The lights are on right now. That's cool. They're testing out the light work, the light package. That guy up there working on stuff. This is so cool. Let's take a look at the project from a hole. It's a beautiful day out here in Coney Island today. Even though the rides are closed right now, there's stuff going on. People at the beach relaxing on the pier. Parachute going on. So this is as a hole. Let's try to move away from the music. Uh, so you can hear me better. And it's also very windy. I apologize again. It's always windy when I do these videos. <laughs> so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the project from as a whole. There you go. Less windy on this side. So that's the, uh, the lift and the first drop, which looks like you get a little bit of airtime. About 40 miles per hour on this ride. This is the roller coaster, the family coaster. And it intertwines with the log flume, which is such a cool idea. Really great way to maximize the space that you have. It's very, uh, you know, it works on lots. Coney Island's a bunch of lots. Uh, but now the boardwalk is fully occupied. There's no empty space on the boardwalk anymore. That's cool. The first time for like last year, seven years. And then you can see a better view, I think. There you go. Yeah. So wrapped around here, goes to the first drop, which is down there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. You can see it in the background a little bit. We'll get a better view in a minute. But you can see it. Really cool. That's the station right there, all the brown and green roofing. Really cool. A lot of lights. A lot of lights on this ride. So cool. So this is the station. Um, there's the conveyor belt for the lift hill. That goes to the drop. So cool. That's a cool picture right there, right? <laughs> but yeah, this is so cool, guys. So it's two entryways, obviously, for the roller coaster and for the log flume. Such interesting stuff. They're putting up the roof. 
I hope they don't mind me doing this. <laughs> um, but yeah, really cool, really cool stuff. Let's take a look at the side profile of this project. Um, really cool views from the side of this whole project. So let's take a look at that because I think we'll get a better view of the drop. And But yeah, I just wanted to show you the station and the entrance. So cool. Really cool entrance. The names are covered up with the rides, but it's uh, Letty's Treasure and Tony's Express for the room coaster. Really cool. All right. Now we're in the side of this whole project. Look at that. So cool. It's starting to do some roof work. Like I said, some roof work. But they also made the, um, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> I went blank. But the place where you store the trains. Oh, you can see them. Wait a minute. You can see the front of the train car, of its train. I don't know if you can see that. There's too much involved. Let's see if I could try to zoom in. Hmm. But anyway, the ride is called Tony's Express. There you go. It's in its little sleeping quarters. <laughs> so cool. Tony's Express. This is the first drop right here of the log flume. Kind of like a, a you know, you just drop down, you circle back around, then you go back up, and then you drop again. That's a bigger drop. Yeah. What I'm really interested is, I, I love water rides, but I'm really, you guys know me, I'm a coaster fan, so this is what excites me right here. But what excites me more is how they really use space to its prime. I think uh, what the original plan was was just to have the log flume with just a lot of theming and a lot of islands, like really tropical vibe. The first project uh, rendering, but then they added the roller coaster, which makes it way better. Really cool stuff. Such a cool project. I love that tower. It gives me old Coney Island um, throwbacks, like Dreamland, and Steeplechase, and the old Luna Park. Love that. Really cool. See them working on the log flume. That's the maximum height for the log flume, and then it drops down right next to the Thunder Roll. Just love the design of these rides with these towers. Love it. Really cool addition to the park. And then right here is going to be a pathway all along the block from Surf Avenue all the way down the boardwalk well actually no just up to the project and then you just turn around all the way from down there cool project 